In this problem, we're presented with a helicopter whose tail rotor is not functioning. If we change the angular speed of the blades from 200 to 300 RPM, what will be the final angular velocity of the body? So we're looking for omega b, omega of the body, after the change or in the second state. Because there are no external forces acting on the helicopter, we're going to be using conservation of angular momentum for the system. Where the system is the helicopter body and the helicopter rotor. So the forces between those two the torque supplied by the motor does not come into our equation. We don't have any impulses moment because that is between two parts of the system and therefore we can use conservation. So we're just going to sketch this system. We've got a helicopter body and we've got a rotor blade system. and we're told that the rotor sits right on top of G. If we look at this in the XY here, we're going to have some angular velocity of the rotor. We'll assume it's positive. And some angular velocity of the body. So what we're saying is the sum of the angular momentum about G at state 1 over the system equals the sum of the angular momentum about g at state 2 for the system. We're told that I of the body about g is 1300 kilograms meter squared and I of the rotor we're given that's um, four thin rods so a thin rod ending at G, that's one-third ml squared, or 30 kilograms, times 5 meters all squared. And that's going to be 1,000 kilograms meters squared. So let's talk about state 1. At state 1, this is before the rotor shift speed, we have... Uh, an omega of the rotor at state 1. We're given in 200 revolutions per minute. We can convert that to rads per second. One minute is 60 seconds and 2 pi is one revolution. And we end up that this is 20.93 rads per second. So we can say that also omega the body at state 1 is 0. So we assume that it starts from rest. The total angular momentum of the system about point G for state 1 is the angular momentum about G for the rotor at state 1 plus the angular momentum about g for the body at state 1, and that's going to be 0 because omega is 0. So all we have left is the rotor. That's going to be i of the rotor times omega of the rotor at state 1. We'll assume these are all in the positive k-hat direction, and so we end up with 20,930 kilograms meter squared per second in the k-hat direction. At state 2, now the omega of the rotor has gone up to 300 RPM, and that's going to be times 1 over 60 times 2 pi, 31.4 rads per second. Again, in the positive direction, so it's just increase the speed in the same direction. Now, omega of the body is not going to be equal to zero. Omega of the body can't be zero because 
in order to conserve momentum of the whole system, the body now has to start rotating in the opposite direction. That's the only way for momentum to be conserved. And because we don't have an impulsive moment, momentum has to be conserved. So we can say that sum of the angular momentum at state two for the system, right, system up there too, equals the angular momentum at state two of the rotor about G plus the angular momentum at state two of the body about G. So that's going to be I R omega R two plus I B omega B two. And we can write that as 31,400. That's going to be I R, that I hasn't changed, times the new omega R, plus 1300 omega B two. Conservation of momentum tells us that 20,930 has to be equal to 31,400 plus 1,300 omega B2. And so we can solve that for omega B2 equals negative 805 radians per second. We assumed omega B2 was positive in the k-hat. The math has given us a negative number, which means that it's actually moving in the negative k-hat. So the vector omega b2 ends up being minus 8.05 rads per second in the k-hat. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.